Iran's supreme leader has accused foreign countries of stirring up demonstrations in his country. The anti-government movement has expanded to more than 40 cities in Iran, and the death toll has risen to 20. Now, Iranians in Europe have taken to the streets to support anti-government protests in their homeland. Aromas play a key role in how we experience the world. A company in Japan has found a unique way to bridge the difference between the senses of sight and smell. In China's bustling big cities, queues are becoming more and more a part of everyday life. Ticket offices, coffee houses, and popular restaurants often come with long snaking lines. But if people are short of time or patience, there is a solution at their fingertips. NHK World's Kazaki Hirama reports from Shanghai. While many people are enjoying New Year holidays, swordsmiths in central Japan performed a ritual forging of traditional Japanese swords. Well, more than 100 swimmers have dared to take their first dip of 2018 at a beach in western Japan despite the chilly temperature. And in our next story, we look at how some people in Japan are learning about a different culture through calligraphy. NHK World's Shunsuke Wakao has the details from the country's biggest mosque. Time now for world weather with our meteorologist, Jonathan. That wraps up this hour of NHK Newsline. On behalf of Jonathan O, myself, and all of us in the newsroom, thanks for watching.